Today I'm just doing a video on one of my books. It's pretty cool. It's about Melbourne graffiti. It's called Kingsway. I reckon you should get it. It's pretty good. Okay, so it's just got heaps of graffiti. And there's a couple of good like pages for there's a page with all the paints and there's a page with all the crews. See this page has got all the crew names. They're going a bit. Yeah, you can't really see them but anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the book a bit. So first it starts off pretty reckless. The graffiti isn't really good. Still good, but it's not as good. And then it gets better as you go through the book. Then one of my favourite graffiti pieces is by this artist called um, Panic. And he did this piece on Ligon Street in Footscray somewhere. Or somewhere. Not Footscray, sorry. I don't know. Somewhere. He did a, he did a really cool 3D look in the piece. It was really cool. Like It kind of looks a bit like graffiti artist called Dime. I'm not sure if you pronounce his name like that, but it's either Dame or Dime or something like that. Okay. And here is the piece I was looking for. So that is my favourite piece in the book. It's really cool, really complicated, and it is much more complicated and yeah, it's just a bit better than all the others. And so I recommend getting this book. It's got some really good graffiti and at the bottom of all the pages it tells you what the graffiti says, who it, who it was by, what crew the graffiti artist was in, when it was cleaned off and when it was done and stuff like that. And in some pages they have um, stuff about the artists. See here it says an artist called DK, then it has a little paragraph about it. Yeah, and uh, there's a couple of chapters. So the main one is just like random. S so the first chapter is just heaps of random graffiti. Then as you go further, it has a panel. Oh, it has a um, a thing called. It has a new chapter called bombing. Bombing. Yeah, and. Obviously, it's just tags and bombing, and then you go a bit further, then it has part three panels. So, obviously, it's just painting trains and stuff. And so, it's just the rest of the book is just trains covered in graffiti, which is pretty cool. I like the train bit. And then, at the end, at the very end of the book, it has about just about every single artist. I'm not sure if you can read any of it, but it just ha it has a, just about every single artist that was alive from 1980, 1983 to 1993. And then it says at the bottom, and all those we have missed to the fallen ones rest in peace. So obviously that means some of them died, which is pretty sad. But anyway, that is the end of the book. Thank you for watching.